Um, hello, welcome to my uh, homemade destroy homemade uh, destroyer. It's got a single main battery utilizing thirty millimeter auto cannon from Create Big Cannons, a missile launcher which is similar to that well the anti air one on the Daring class except this one well in looks but only in in looks and two manually operated thirty millimeter anti air auto cannons. Uh, let uh, let's begin. So, uh, first of all, there we've got that. That's the brain of the um, ship, which manages all of the. Well, it manages all of the calculations for navigation and stuff like that. Up here is the first control room with the gun and the missile controls. Unfortunately, when in a left turn, the controls for the missiles do not seem to function as expected, but the ones for the gun function fine. As you can see, I can turn the gun. I can adjust the elevation of it as well, and I can fire. Right. Ah, yes. Uh, there's also the pilot, the main, well, the driving cupular thing upstairs, up this ladder. Great. Sorry, um, it lags a bit on OBS, and for some reason, normal recording isn't working. So here's the control thing here, giving me speed, the mass-ish, and our location as well as our role and the ship ID. Now I can increase the speed. It won't change, as a safeguard, it won't update the speed controller until I let go of either of the buttons to uh, ensure that uh, I don't, because the speed controller is rather delicate when it comes to stuff like that and will break quite easily. Pressing A or D will also turn the rudder. I haven't really tested the rudder properly and I can't really tell if it works. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't really do too much. I'm probably going to need to upgrade the um, both the amount of the uh, propellers and the uh, and the rudder to give it enough power to actually move the ships at high enough speeds and yeah normally moves faster than this. Basically, the way this works is that uh, the control seat can be programmed to give inputs on either side, such as if I press that or that. It, and then I have a digital adapter under it, which I uh, read using the brain down here. It detects the, the amount of speed going through the speedo me speedometer, and uh, if it's the correct amount, or when it's a certain amount, it will do certain actions. Under here is the engine room. I've just used creative generators for now and a crap ton of motors. I guess if you wanted to build this, you'd use a large accumulator with a lot of power. Over here is the lower the controls for the missile. I have a radar over here which picks up the different ships. As you can see, it updates constantly to detect movement. Let's say I want to hit ID 6. I'd get the location of it there. X364. Three, six, 364. 109 in Y. 
and 251 in Z. Then I'd use these controls to control the to control the silo doors and launch the missile, but I'm feeling, uh, but I want to show you the stuff here. Right. Okay, that's the um, ship controls. If I press this, it opens a silo. If I press this, hold down this, it launches the missile. And now I can close the silo. Now if we go over to ID6 quickly. Wait. Yeah. First of all. Oh, wait. Looks like ID6 was uh, attached to R1. Yeah. That was a bit close to us for a missile strike. I think that was attached to our hub, either that or we just or we've just been attacked by an enemy vessel. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of work to repair, but fortunately, it seems to be mostly super. It mo seems to be mostly structural damage. The structure here being mostly decorative. Oh no! It took out the um. Took out the stuff here. So I guess I'm going to have to uh, replace that. <laughs> Good thing I didn't switch it out for the nuclear bomb charge. Otherwise I'd be screaming my head off as all of my work for the previous day would have just blown up. Anyway. Um, oh yes. Glue. Yep. That seems to be in order. Perhaps better arming. Uh, better ar arm and, arm and, yeah. Yeah. Would be quite prudent on this vessel rather than just aluminium foil. But aluminium foil looks nice. It doesn't matter that it is weak as fuck, as we can see here. It does. I'm going to. Uh, if I make another ship, I'll probably. Well, the next ship I make will probably either be a submarine or a battleship. I know I recently made a nuclear sub with nuclear launch capabilities but that didn't turn out too well because um it well it actually worked quite well but it just randomly disappeared like full on evaporated and i have no idea how to recover it Anyway, let's check what this ID is. Ship ID six. Oh wait, is that relative to us? No, it can't be because one oh nine. Then again, one sixty in white. That that's in the space. Yeah, I'll have to um check that later. After I just quickly add a quick patch job to this. Okay, two away from the end. There. Perhaps adding um. I mean, fortunately, all of the fire, the main controls, all of the important stuff was unharmed as far as I can tell the missile controls were damaged a bit one of our ramps seems to have gone but of oh yes uh, this entire side of the control area is just evaporated Oh no, and it got this part as well, but uh, most of the stuff up here seems... 
flight so let's bring the ship to a halt as you can see there clutch that locks down the engine hi dad I just accident so I was testing out the missile system to showcase it in a video that I'm recording and I think the ship I launched the missile at was a bit too close to my own ship because it just struck the side of my ship Fortunately, all of the damage was just to the superstructure, nothing else. Yes, quite easily.